another day has come and we are preparing this time to set out for the swamp. We have our first weapons for sale. Uh, Telamina has made three Gardless Katana and the sale value 942. Not bad. So we'll sell one of those and we've also got an old-fashioned katana there that did belong to Austrian. She now has one of the guardless katana, as does Telamina. Let's pick up these first aid kits while we're here. And that's probably all, I think, for the moment. So we've got almost 11,000 cats, so that's enough to recruit at least one person, hopefully two. And that will be our goal uh, when we get to the swamp. I'm sure we'll find another bar down there somewhere that uh, some of the patrons will be interested in joining up with us. So, uh, let's see. Telamina, do you have... Uh, you've got all the first aid equipment. Fine. Okay, let's give some out to... Ruka. I think Dijon probably needs one and I'll give one to Muto. Muto's got the standard first aid kit. Austrian has some, yeah. So everyone uh, is now equipped with first aid. Okay. Well. Let's get on the move then. And as I said, we're heading for the swamp. I'm pretty sure you could have taken an easier route. Okay, we still don't have any real armour to our name. But I think we'll be okay. Let's head for here. We spent yesterday working at our fields and our iron refinery. Dijol did some copper mining. Uh, we harvested all three of the fields and uh, Muto then cooked up a batch of chew sticks for us. We were visited by a, a goods trader. We managed to pick up some iron plates from him, but we also manufactured about half a dozen of our own. So that enabled Telamina to craft those guardless katana. And as you can see, if we get almost a thousand cats per katana, they take a bit of time to make. Um, but as long as we're geared towards producing the iron plates, that will be a lucrative source of income for us. Yesterday we also encountered three groups of hungry bandits in quick succession while we were working. And we were able to de defeat all three without taking two serious injuries ourselves. So I'm feeling much more confident about our ability to hang handle hungry bandits. Perhaps even dust bandits. But who knows what we'll encounter down here in the swamp. And especially if we plan to venture within the swamp, not just skip the edges. There are much more dangerous things than hungry bandits out here in the wilds. As you recall from my initial journey, there are things such as skimmers. Which hopefully we're not going to encounter around here. 
But there will be equally unpleasant things. Okay, we're not too far away now. from one of these ravines. Just interested in what's up there. Doesn't look like anything we can actually make any use of. It's hard to tell whether it's a manufactured structure or just part of the geology. It doesn't seem to be a node of any sort. And the air is becoming quite fitted. And the ground underfoot very moist. Let's continue. I thought I saw torches almost directly ahead. Ah, some sort of encampment over here. I can't tell what it is. I think I want to avoid it for now. No sign of any occupants, which is good. And I guess we push further on into the swamp then. Yes, stinks like my old musty old grandma. It's a very colourful metaphor, Muto. Thanks for the warning about monsters. Okay, I think we want to head over in this direction. Keeping an eye out as far as we can in all directions. I'm quite happy for idle chit chat if it helps to keep spirits up. But stay focused. This journey is quite tense. Getting deeper and deeper into the swamp. Hopefully we'll find some sort of civilization before long. Ok, 
Okay, I think we'll stop here for a moment and take stock. Find out how far we've come into the swamp. A fair way. We'll push on slightly further. Yeah, okay, let's skirt around these rocks here, these hills. And try and stay out of the water as much as possible. Press on. Air would clear up a bit, we might actually be able to see a bit further and hopefully make out the walls of a settlement somewhere. Okay, let's swim or wade at least across here. Now it's going to be a bit of a swim. And I think this is the first time we've swam at all. Okay, so Ten Bones elects not to swim. He's just going to walk along the bottom of the swamp. Fate, but we haven't seen another living creature. I thought this one might have been home to a few more animals. I was hoping we might find something reasonably docile that we could take down for the meat. for here and then head back if we haven't found anything I feel uneasy better ah here we go some sort of a beast on its own Let's see if we can take it down. A swamp turtle. And I should perhaps take the backpacks off. Ah, it's down already. Uh, Austrian. You still have a backpack. So 14 raw meat, that's not too bad. So the journey hasn't been a complete waste then. Uh, hopefully we'll find another swamp turtle. And they are relatively easy to kill. Hopefully, from up in this vantage, we'll get sight of something. Still have a ways to go. I thought that we had progressed much further than we have. But we've discovered a village. 
somewhere over to the east. And there's some combat going on. Let's venture over. It looked like it was in the final stages of the combat. Whatever it was. And over here. Don't go through too much water. Um, yes, yeah, so hopefully we're not going to be too much threat. What's this here? Swamp Ninja again in the Let's avoid them. Swamp ninjas don't appear hostile to us at the moment anyway. This village is still quite a ways away. The swamp ninjas might have sent me off on a longer route. Scout around. Yeah, I think we want to head back in that other direction. Let's do that. Yeah, there was a slight bit of panic when I saw a group of figures emerging from the murk. The Swamp Ninjas. Hopefully we can remain, if not on their good side, at least have them remain neutral towards us. This doesn't look promising either. Let's head over there. Try and minimise the amount of time we have to spend wading through this murk. Okay, and back up in this sort of direction here. Yes, we're getting closer. But why are we so slow? Ten bones, where are you? Okay. Let's wait for ten bones to catch up again. And then we can head out. And I think this is our heading now. Somewhere over to the left, seemingly. So let's come over here. Hopefully beyond this massive tree, there'll be more further dry ground there is. Good. Give up ten bones. But now... The way is ah, there's the village here. So let's yeah, skirt around there. And it looks quite a significant village from this vantage point at least. Looks like there are further torches and structures beyond this initial couple of buildings here. Even more over there. So hopefully. This will be somewhere that we can recruit people if we can find the entrance. It doesn't seem to be around this direction. Let's head back over here. That looks like it might be the gate there. Okay, so 
civilization of a sort. And hopefully, is this more swamp ninjas? Swampers. They'll allow us entry. If we can figure out how to use their main gate. Okay, and what do we have in here? Another gate on the far side. We have some fields planted. Okay. Let's talk to this person here. Buy any of your fish. Let me have a look. How much do you charge for fish? They're expensive. So, no thank you, Sticky. That was kind of you to offer. I do not wish to buy your drugs either. Let's come up here. Swamp Dome. It's empty. Okay. There's a bar. We'll head for the bar. It's a merchant shop here, which I'm not too interested in. I'm not looking to purchase anything here, just to recruit, essentially. Interesting, they have a couple of turrets out front. I suppose there will be threats. A loser with a dry out. Oh, let's talk to you. Do you want to play cat crawlers? No, I don't think I do. And then here we have Dr. Chung of the Drifters. Let's talk to him. Okay, he's not interested in talking. Who's this here? A pacifier for the anti-slavers. Now this is a disappointment, I have to say. No one around here either. Out here, this doesn't look like anyone we can speak to either. Swamper Gate Guard. Looks good, but not interested in chat. Okay, let's head back down here. And I suspect that's it. There's nothing in the dome. Come over, check out these other buildings, just to make sure that we've exhausted all the opportunities. This just looks like a dwelling, small residential. Okay. Let's come up on here, what's beyond? That's right, that's just more residential buildings. Yes, residential. More guards. Yeah. Okay, so we're not going to be recruiting anybody here. I must have heard of something or other over there. Can't tell what they are. I think they might be river raptors that I've heard tell of. But damn. So Mud Town is a washout. I think we will push further on. Investigate this area and then we head back. So exit by the gate over in this direction. And these things, swamp raptors, 
don't appear hostile at the moment anyway. So we will just give them a wide berth. And push on further into this dismal swamp. More swamp raptors there. Let's come back onto dry land. We'll not take the direct route through this mess. Try and head round this direction here. We've lost some of our party. Who's missing? Uh, everyone's caught up again, finally. I'm heading still in the right direction, yes. I think we do want to head slightly more to the right. But let's head in there. And try and avoid any major obstacles. be our destination then and it looks like a significant settlement so hopefully we can recruit one or two people there let's push straight ahead we should be able to glimpse it soon enough is this it over here that looks like it yes torch light in the distance and hopefully a gate directly ahead of us. Ooh, poor Glenn's cousin. Okay, is this the entrance? a bit bigger than the village we were in, Mud Town. Let's head for the centre and see if we can't find... In fact, this will be a bar up here, I would imagine. Yes, let's head up there. Interesting. Skeleton. The dancing skeleton. I don't know why everyone else is heading around outside. But this one is much better populated. Okay. We have a holy pacifier from the holy nation. A bar thug. Actually, this doesn't seem to be too much better. Can't talk to any of those people. This Barthog seems to be the only person that we can actually speak to other than that Barthog. And the pacifier. Ah, we have bean sprout over here. Is there anyone else around? No one's sleeping in the beds. Let's check over here. And again, nobody. Ah, we have green. Green is very good with crossbows. I imagine he will ask for quite a bit to join up with us. 
uh, bean sprout. Let's talk to him. Heading out of town, I am uh, looking to join together. If you're not too expensive, three thousand cats before you can leave town. What skills do you have, Bean Sprout? None. Okay, well, join us anyway. Where we go? Who's this out here? I wonder if any of these people are coming into the bar. There might be somewhere else in town that we can visit. But anyway, Bean Sprout has joined us. And it didn't cost us too much. Let's come and talk to this bar person. Swamper Barman. Same as a corpse. I see. Dancing mascot Nelly. Okay. Uh, everyone loves Nelly. Okay, fine. Let's trade. I think we'll take the raw meat and leave it at that. Can you fill me in on the swamp plans, please? They can be pretty chaotic for newcomers. Yes, who do we need to avoid? Tell me about the hounds. Top dogs, they're on the show. Getting hemp to grow in the swamp is their strength. Okay. How about the stone rats? Okay, they're just a bunch of thugs. The black shifters. Hive Ronin, okay. Lone Shark King Gambling. The twin blades. Crazy creeps. Traffic organs, kidnapping and ransom, so we avoid them. And the grey flares, raids, heists, covert missions. Okay, thanks for the information. Can you tell me anything else? No, never mind. Okay, I'm going to leave Green where he is for now. We know where he lives. We can come back for him if need be, and I'm sure we will when the time is right. But I want to have a bit of a look around town. Uh, repair shop of some description over here. Big shop. Let's come over there. Is this another bar? It is. Okay. I want to head over to the bar. Let's see who's in here. If we can find the entrance, have I missed it? Where do you keep your door? Here. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to close the door. Ah. So, lots of people in here. And some humans. Who's this? A stick. Okay, you've got some skills. Who else do we have? Ears of the hounds. I don't know that I want to talk to ears. Tourists. Drifters. Mew. Okay. Hammet of the Drifters. 
Is that you? You've got some skill, Hammett. I can't talk to you. Is anyone in the beds? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's talk to Hammett. Nowhere in this world is truly safe, even with this famous swamper capital that arrives everywhere. I am well travelled, you can certainly say that. Thoughts on slavery? I'm not particularly fond of it, if it involves me. I prefer to live and live, let live. Um, you may have a point, however. I have never been enslaved in a stone camp. Let's talk to you again. Okay, it's an ugly practice. I want no involvement in it. They took somebody from you, these slavers. Somebody special. You need allies to go and wreak your revenge. Who did they take out of interest? Your wife. Okay. Yes, and you think you can still save her? Is she still alive? Okay, I completely agree. They are pure evil. We could stand up, fight the oppressors. I'd be honoured if you would join us. And we get Hammett for free. Okay, let's check out Hammett's skills. He is skilled. And how about Beansprout? I didn't check. Yeah, Beansprout has no skills at all. Okay, Hammett, welcome. Now, is it tourists? I wonder if we should speak to Lars first. Or Mew. Mew might be cheap. Let's talk to her. Land of the murderer rapist asshole. Okay. Um, let her talk, I think. The place stinks. Okay, spit it out. What's happened? An ex slave, ex farmer. attacked by spiders just short of the city okay but you escaped slavery at least let's have a drink I'm happy to do that see if I can't persuade you to join us <laughs> drinking in this place isn't good for you why don't you come with us? Could be entertaining to have around. So, let's see. Okay, we picked up Mio as well. Okay, and your skills are practically zero. You have some stealth, toughness and dexterity. Well, that's three new companions. What I've not done is check to see how you're outfitted. Ah, Hermit even has some armour. Okay. Well, we're going to head back then to the hub. I think we have enough people and I'm going to spend some of our cash, probably, on equipment before we leave. But... It is early morning, so we have the full day to make our way back to the hub. Hopefully we'll arrive before dark. But for now, let's go and see if we can't find ourselves a trader.